friends. Hey friends. Hey friends, it's me Alana. Welcome back to my channel. Some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, The Awkward Book Nerd. It is me, Alana. For this video, I am going to be showing you all my May TBR. So I have a good stack of books here um, just because I decided I was going to take place in two readathons this month because they sounded really fun and I was hoping maybe they would spark my reading even if I don't like read all of my TBR it would just help me read maybe just a couple of them hopefully so before I get into the two readathons I want to remind you I am still working on my spring TBR so I do have some books left on that that I need to finish for this month and then once next month hits, hits that means I can create and then start my summer TBR which I'm super excited about so just to go in there i'm just going to show you a reminder of what i have left to read and i'll even link my original spring tbr video up here and like down in the description below in case you wanted to see what i was working on like as my full tbr so the first book from my spring tbr that i still need to read is the geography of lost things by jessica brody i've only ever read one jessica brody book and it was my life undecided and I think I liked it. It's been a really long time. I was very intrigued because it also had a website linked to it and it was like this whole thing so it was very intriguing. So I'm excited to check this out. I know it involves like a road trip and this girl needing to like basically grieve her father and stuff like that and I'm intrigued to like see how that goes. I do enjoy road trip books so and I haven't read one in a while so I'm interested to see if I like this or not. The next book I have is I need to continue my reread of the Mediator series by Meg Cabot. So I started this first one. I do need to uh, finish. So hopefully I can get through this. It's really short. I just put it down and then pick it back up as usual. So hopefully I can get this done this month, especially because it is short. The next book I have is The Art of Breaking Things by Laura Simpson. I'm really intrigued by this one. It's about a girl whose mother does not really have the best uh, experience with men and picking boyfriends and so she normally just avoids anything to do with that but one man in particular that she has had a very like bad experience and traumatic experience with is brought back into her life by her mom and so she I guess has to work through if it's time to really be honest about who this person is and stuff like that or what so i'm interested to see how this book is done how the story is told and i'm hoping it is done well the next book i have i still haven't taken it out of this box set so i'm just gonna show you the whole box set is the first book in the percy jackson series the lightning thief which is this one right here so i still need to read that <laughs> i still need to open this box set i just haven't gotten around to doing it and I did put a disclaimer in my original video where since this is a reread for me, like I've read the first two in this series and I just haven't continued on. If rereading the first one does not work out for me, because sometimes that happens to me with the series, like sometimes I just can't reread it like that, then I do have the graphic novels of the first two books and so if this book doesn't work out then I'm just going to pick up the graphic novel and reread it that way. The next book I have is <laughs> Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare. <laughs> I have tried to start this book so many times and I'm really hoping that I can get to it soon. I just want to get it done at this point and like finish the trilogy so I can move on because I really need to like move on <laughs> so hopefully I can get into it. I tried listening to the audiobook but I could not handle it. I did not like Ed Westwick as the voice. <laughs> I thought it was just too, uh, he makes me feel icky, so I was just like, I'll just read the physical copy, it's fine. And the last book on my TBR that I need to read for spring is Suddenly Super Supernatural, uh, School Spirit by Elizabeth Cody Kimmel. So this is a middle grade I read when I was younger, in I think middle school. And 
I decided that I wanted to reread it because I really did enjoy the concept of the story and everything. And so I want to reread the series if I can and just finish it. So uh, it's about a girl who I think she moves to a new town or something and she can see spirits and it's just something revolving around that. I don't remember too many details because again it's been a really long time since I've read this so I'm hoping it's just as good as I remember it being. So on to the readathons. The readathons I will be participating in this year are the Pokemon readathons which is a Pokemon based readathon which I'm super excited to take part in and the Asian readathon. So <laughs> Yeah, uh, with the Bookymon readathon, I tried to combine my spring TBR with it because I was like, I really don't want to overwhelm myself with books because I know I won't touch any of them if I feel overwhelmed. Um, so majority of these will overlap with my spring TBR, which is good. And then for the Asian readathon, that will not overlap because sadly the TBR jar gods did not give me any Asian reads for my spring TBR. So that's okay. I did pull some um, other ones that I either want to just reread or I need to finish that I had started. I will start with talking about the Pokemon Readathon. So it's all of May. It is a team based. So you could be a team, I think, Mystic, Valor, and the other team. <laughs> There's three teams. I just don't remember the other name. But I'm team Mystic, which is the most important thing. And you also get a buddy to go with you. So like a, a Pokemon type and each type has a special ability that you can use, I guess. So with mine, I chose the ground type because that ability is reading books off your own TBR earns 500 CP. So all the books I'm reading are my own TBR. So I figured that worked out for me. Also, just so you know, I'm reading the prompts from my little book here, so I'm not just looking down. So the prompts, the first prompt is blue team. Read a book featuring the color blue, either in title or on cover. Okay, so the first book I pulled for that was The Geography of Lost Things by Jessica Brody. So there's like blue right here. <laughs> so I'm counting that because uh, I need to read this. <laughs> the second prompt is logical. Follow your head and read a book you know you should get to. So for that one, I chose the Mediator series, the first book, uh, because I know I need to finish this, logically speaking. So I pulled this so I can work on that. Alright, the next prompt is gym training, reading a book from the library or your own TBR. So for that one I chose The Art of Breaking Things. It is for my own TBR and yeah. Next prompt is Blanche's Mission, read a book that is set in another world, non-earth related. So for that one I did Howl's Moving Castle by Diane Wynne Jones. So I don't know if I if I have any other books that aren't like least earth related or based on earth. So I think this is the closest thing. I do not remember Earth being mentioned in this. So I think it's it's a different place, I hope. If not, then I don't own any of those books. And I could look on the li on my library, but I really need to get, get through my own TBR first. So I'd rather just pick this up and hopefully finish it. The next prompt is Mystic Group Book. Uh, and that one we just need to read Either 10,000 Doors of January by Alex E. Harrell or read a historical, I think, fantasy or historical fiction, they said. I don't know what I'm going to do there yet, but I guess you'll know once I get to my wrap-up. And the last prompt is Articuno. Read a book by a Middle Eastern author. So for that one, I chose An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. Uh, I'm pretty sure she is Middle Eastern. And I am really excited to check this out and get a jump start into this series because, again, I've heard good things and... I'd rather read it now while the series ends this year than like wait any longer. So yay! All right, so the, that is my TBR for the Pokemon Readathon. The next Readathon I have is the Asian Readathon. Uh, just so you know, our Asian Readathon takes place all of May too. So I'm at least happy that I chose two like month-based Readathons. <laughs> so this is kind of like a tentative list. I'm still like figuring it out. But I'll just read you the prompts and then honestly any of these could fit into these prompts to be honest with you So for the prompts the first one is read any book by an Asian author and for that one I chose An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir because I really do want to read this The next one is read a book featuring an Asian character written by an Asian author who you can relate to So for that one I chose Fruits Basket Volume 1. This is a reread for me but I love this series so much and Toru was one of the first characters in a manga that I really truly related to in regards to just like her feeling like different 
in a way, but also like just wanting everyone to be happy and to just love everybody and to make them feel comfortable with herself. Like that's something I've always strived for. And I just like kind of relate to her po her positive, like outgoing person. And it's, it's just so nice. I love her so much. So the next one is read a book featuring an Asian character or written by an Asian author who is different from you. So this one I pulled Somewhere Only We Know by Maureen Gu. I chose this one because I've been wanting to read with this one. Also it's about a girl who's basically a k-pop star and she meets this like I think photographer or this random guy and they spend like one night together. I'm not a star. I'm not a k-pop star. I'm not any kind of star. <laughs> I've never had the urge to want to do that. <laughs> I, yeah. So, <laughs> I'm choosing this one. Also, like, there's so many differences. I'm not Korean. I, I can't even, I don't have a special talent I could showcase as a star. Like, just so many differences. So I figured this would be a good one to pull. And there's actually only one more prompt, but I have two books here. So I don't know what happened, but... The last prompt is read a book recommended by an Asian. So, uh, I went on the Asian readathons recommended books list and I'm kind of counting that for this prompt if not I can definitely go find one of my Asian friends and definitely ask them but I figured this would technically count both of these were on that list so yeah I guess I could choose one or just do both they're both really short so it doesn't matter but the first one I have is IQ volume one I don't know what happened but in November I became so obsessed with this series the anime is so good I still need to watch the fourth season because I was gonna rewatch the the series before like starting the fourth season so I need to rewatch the third season and then I can move on to the fourth season and I'm just slacking right now but I also got the first six volumes of the manga because I really want to read it <laughs> because I'm literally obsessed I love them so much all of these characters are just hilarious so i picked this up because i was like i started it too and i need to finish it so i figured why not just grab this since it's short and sweet and i can get it done and then the last book i pulled for the same prompt was unite me by tahara mafi this was definitely on the list i need to read destroy me before i move on to the second book which is uh unravel me i think and so it's a short novella, so I figured I could get this read, honestly, with the audiobook or something, and then be done. So I, I honestly pulled two short reads for this last prompt, and I'm not ashamed. <laughs> so yeah, super excited to get to this, because I really do want to continue on with the series and finish it and see what it's all about. So that is my May TBR. Thank you all for watching. Let me know if you're participating in any of these readathons or if you're part doing something else for May. Let me know what you'll be reading. I love to like hear what you're doing for your TBR at all. And if you like the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments or concerns or anything about the books I pulled, whether you've read them, whether you didn't like them, whether you did like them, let me know all of that down below. If you're not good at commenting, I'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below. I'm stealing the idea from my friend Sylvia from Wish Fulfillment. And if you wanna keep seeing more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You are awesome flowers in a world full of weeds.